Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video episode, I would like to explain and show how we're using Fast API uh, to implement uh, API end endpoints uh, for uh, our solution for the data extraction. Let's uh, uh, jump into my desktop. <coughs> First of all, this is a GitHub repo for Sparrow. Uh, our tool that is in development right now, and the idea is that it should be open source tool based on popular models like Donut, and uh, on uh, it should run on top of uh, Hugging Face API and, and, and infrastructure, and should uh, uh, help you to extract data from uh, documents, from pictures, uh, and you should get uh, data in uh, key value pairs. Uh, and also you should be able to do fine tuning in a simpler, uh, simple way, uh, in order to fine tune the model based on your own data set. Okay, and uh, so the application is structured into multiple parts. This uh, UI part, as you see uh, in the code over here, then this uh, ML part and uh, data part. So uh, you can think about uh, all those parts like different services. And uh, the idea is why we're using uh, Fast API because we want uh, uh, to allow those parts to communicate between each other. So <clears throat> we expose uh, functionality from ML part with Fast API. Uh, so when you want to run inference task, then you pass uh, through the API uh, image of the document and uh, service uh, calls the model, uh, model extracts the data and you get back the response. Uh, also, there's uh, another endpoint uh, for the data part uh, where uh, you would get statistics about the data set and so on. And uh, gradually in the future, uh, then this API can be extended, more functionality can be added and so on. And below the video, I'll, po I'll, I'll put the URL uh, to the GitHub repo for the Sparrow and in general why I decided to use Fast API uh, because Fast API uh, provides very nice uh, structure and uh, documentation is great uh, for, from the fast API it's easy to follow it and this uh, nice explanation about uh, how to implement um, API structure for bigger applications when you have um, when your service implements for example uh, multiple um, endpoints and you don't want to be to run multiple fast API applications so you want to run single application but with multiple endpoints so uh, in this uh, documentation section it described very well how to do this and basically this is what we achieved so uh, with this service that runs on top of um, uh, training part of Sparrow so we have for example inference endpoint here and then this uh, training endpoint, which is empty at the moment and uh, in the future it will be implemented. Um, and there's a default endpoint, which uh, just returns the test message. All right, and to show you how the inference endpoint works, so I, I, I took the uh, sample document. And not right now we are in the process of preparing our own data set based on a set of invoices that are... Uh, uh, taken from the public uh, set of, of documents and there's a URL on the GitHub repo in the data uh, part of the Sparrow, there's a URL to the source uh, from where we got the, those invoice documents. So now we're busy annotating those documents, uh, mapping uh, uh, fields that want, we want to extract and then we'll fine tune uh, Donut model uh, based on this uh, data and uh, will publish it uh, available to everyone as open source. So we'll publish annotated data so you could use it uh, for your own uh, experiments and fine tuning and also we'll publish fine tuned models. So this is the plan. Okay, so that's the document and this is the sample inference. So we pass, we can pass uh, either the file, uh, which is done in this case, or we can pass URL uh, to the file, which is located somewhere on the internet. And uh, <clears throat> API is going to process that uh, file uh, call uh, model and the model producing is a response. So this is the actual uh, data that is extracted. So we get uh, header information, we get a list of items from the table and we get a summary information. Uh, yeah, and as I mentioned right now, uh, the data set is not uh, complete yet, so I did some 
uh, experimental fine tuning based on a very small set of documents. And this is uh, just to, to check that I'm able to get the structure, um, res structured response out of the model as expected. So now I'm busy in, uh, fi fine tuning and um, uh, annotating data and fine tuning with a larger set of data. And once uh, this final work will be available, I'll put it um, on the hugging face as a public model and public data set. Right, and yeah, I like FastAPI because uh, it provides this nice uh, tester utility and obviously uh, it shows uh, when you execute the request, it shows uh, how you could uh, do the same request uh, on a command line and uh, it helps to uh, st straight away to go to, your, for example, JavaScript application and uh, include this request there and call the same endpoint. So it's very helpful and straightforward. Okay, and now let's... Uh, go to the code and uh, the code is implemented based on uh, fast api application uh, that describes how to implement uh, bigger applications with fast api uh, in in the documentation that you saw a few moments ago i'll put reference to this uh, document as well below the video so you could follow it along and um, yeah the idea is that you have an endpoint script where uh, you uh, Initialize fast API application. Then I specify uh, uh, parameters uh, for course over here, and then I have two uh, endpoints: uh, one for inference, another for training, and the third one is default to test if API is running. So I have uh, I include uh, the router that points to the inference functionality, and another router it points to the training functionality, and then I specify pr different prefixes. Um, I specify prefixes for both of them, and yeah, and over here um, under main fast API application uh, definition, I specify uh, my custom uh, open API URL and custom docs URL. So what that means, if I go back to uh, the browser, then I see that uh, the endpoint uh, when I open this documentation, it's not just uh, port docs. It also includes the application name, like Sparrow ML, for example, uh, version and so on. So it's very uh, convenient when you have multiple fast applications. So it's um, easier to <clears throat> understand from where uh, this API uh, endpoint is coming and easier to manage applications when you're using those kind of um, prefixes. Okay, and then we got inference uh, <clears throat> router and training router. So training router, uh, there is just an empty function, and on the inference, we got uh, uh, when the script starts, we connect to Hugging Face infrastructure, we get uh, our fine tuned uh, model, and uh, also processor from the Hugging Face. <clears throat> Those two right now are private, so if you would like, if you would try to run this code on your own uh, environment, it would not work. Uh, but as soon as, uh, as I mentioned, we'll get a final data set and final fine tuned model. I'll, I'll make this. Uh, well, I'll make this model public. Yeah, then we have a function which, uh, um, say, takes the input and uh, generates the output based uh, on the image. It generates JSON output out of the box, we return that uh, data over here, and then we, this is the uh, function which is annotated as uh, fast API uh, endpoint uh, as post, and uh, we are listening for the inference uh, uh, inference endpoint here, and we call uh, inference function, and uh, over here we have two parameters, two optional parameters, uh, so user can specify either the path to the uh, file on the internet, or it can upload the file uh, directly directly by when calling the API. And the preference is taken for the file, so we check if the file parameter is not empty, then we execute uh, inference with this um, uh, input data, otherwise if um, uh, input file is empty, we check if uh, uh, URL was specified, then we execute um, uh, inference uh, with the image uh, downloaded from the URL, and otherwise, if uh, no parameters were uh, specified, then we just return the message saying that uh, there is no there is no input provided. Yeah, so let me 
jump over here and this is our github repo so i would like to say thanks for watching and uh, to summarize this video i would like to say that with fast api it's very easy to implement um, uh, endpoints uh, and expose your application functionality uh, as a service and this is, this is one of the reasons why we're using fast api because it's uh, fast as, as uh, you would guess from the name and uh, it's very convenient so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye